Hello everyone, you're watching 10 Minute Tutorials, I'm Jamie Starr. On this episode I'm going to show you some tricks for chopping up vocals and resampling. So here we have a MIDI lead I just dragged in. This is only going to be for, uh, for reference and auto-tuning. It doesn't look as if there's any breaks in the MIDI, so um, although I want to make sure it lines up perfectly. There we go. Um, so we won't need to be changing anything in that. If it didn't line up with no breaks, then it would be uh, imperative to stretch it all over and create two of them. But since we have the one, we'll be good with that. I have a copy of Janet Jackson's Love Will Never Do a cappella in here, and I loaded in a sampler. So we're going to drop that into the sampler and create some data in here for triggering it. So now we have a loop there. Our friends think we're opposites. Now, we're going to take the LFO and connect that to the start sample. Let's actually go to this. Let's see if we can switch it up with the quantize tool. Fourths, that's better. Instead, we're gonna drag it out. There's right. so now we just need to change the LFO to a B. Slow it down a little bit. We can also hook up this to that if we want, that a little bit, release, Sending. You move that around a bit. hits we're just going to clear that stuff out of there we're going to load melodyne into here 
Where we can process uh, this. Snap. Now this is saying that it's in E flat, which is good. We'll switch it to minor. Actually, because we want some sort of deviation when we get to that part, we're going to switch it to B minor. Quantize it to 30 seconds and 16ths. Now, if we want, we can also straighten out some of the modulations. Open up autotune. Bounce this to a new track. Delete that. Now this, we're going to send to our first track, where we can have it where it will follow the MIDI. We can also switch this to the multi sample. Or it should. Now I have it on my keyboard. But as we have this as one of the leads, hitting the same note, but you can hear that the auto-tune keeps it in tune and is creating a harmony with this part. just for the hell of it. It's a little fast. 
fast. Slow that down. Either way, you get the point. I mean, there's other things you do. Compressing this would definitely help. Add a delay. Even this part, if we filtered it. We can loop that or quantize that. So that's how you um, start playing around with the vocal effects, basically that you know Skrillex made possible in songs like uh, Weekends, Long Drive, or With Your Friends, whatever it's known by. And also, if you want to mess with it more, you can load in some glitch plugins.
And this glitch is a, is a nice plugin in and of itself. Didn't even have that quantized. Another one of my little tricks where I like to add this, even though it's meant for vocals, onto my drums. Alright, and that was uh, vocal glitching, stretching, formatting, all of that. So, that's how you get started with that. Hope you all enjoy.